Yo, this is a ton of play. Super Mario Bros. 3 All-Stars version. We are in the second world. As you can see on the bottom screen, World 2. We beat the first world, which was pretty easy and fine. Now in the second world, we go from the grass areas to the desert area. Which is different, but we'll see how it goes. This one has actually fewer regular levels, but it has some unique levels. It has also new fortress levels and a castle and even a shortcut for additional Hammer Brothers to beat. Let's we'll see if we can get them. Let's jump into the first one, level 1, right now. So you can see, the, except from the background looking a bit more desert-like, the level is kind of similar. Oh, what is for this block here? This one is actually bad. These small things are taking over the block. That's fine though. Oh, nice! With the Tanuki Mario, we can crush all these blocks and reveal uh, cool stuff. Oh! Another one. Oh, I. My swing on it, but I guess I was too slow on it. That's fine though. Oh, 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 there we go. Now we're invisible. Now it's a star power. I didn't even get utilized that much though. <laughs> what about the fire thing though? You can't beat it. It's... Unless you're a star power. The flame just likes to jump up when you try to get to you. Can even ignore aesthetics, but... Yeah. Don't worry much about it. Go here. To this place. Again, watch out for the fire thing. Fire thing is bad. It won't like, try to kill you. Well, we go in here, we get an extra life, so in case we get killed, we are back. can go back again. For the Goombas. Aha, I knew it was something in here. Sometimes we can't think, I can't get up here. Oh, you can. It's just a bit of a hidden block. More aesthetics here. Continue. Ooh. Go for this piranha plants here. And there we go. And this level is very simple. Just a quick overview of what you can expect from this world. And that was the first level in the desert world. So after you beat this, you can go up here, you can go for your uh, second chance time, or you can go to your second level, depending on what you want to do. Going to the second chance time. Then the pictures and get a prize, only get one try. Let's see if you can go for one another. Let's see if you can go for a star one though. That's the star. Oh, we miss. Damn it. We get nothing. Now you can see, if you, you can also get a bit of a hint on what you can expect from levels. If you see the second level here, there's some water near it, so maybe we can have like an oasis level? Well, let's find out the second level. This one is very similar to the second level in the first world as well. But watch out! That is not good, that is quicksand. So, don't want to jump into it. Get the Tanuki Mario. Away from it. Don't go to quicksand because that can be bad. You can't survive it though, but you have to jump like crazy. Here we have a Oh I was too slow. Let's click some coins. Yeah, the fishes are bad, they wanna eat you. So go don't go into that. Okay, we're gonna transport them off to the other side though. This level is one of the shortest one in the game. See, we were there at the end. That this level took me like a one minute. Very short, very easy. But hey, now apparently this level is a bit hidden as well. If you manage to get thirty coins, you might get a special item which can be useful. I won't say more than that. So if you play this game, you go to this level, try to get thirty coins, you might be surprised what's gonna happen. And we're already off to our first fortress level. Let's do this level and this episode. 
So the first Fortress level had some issues for me. This one, this place is a bit different here, almost like a prison. A lot of the dry bones. And here we have the thwomps. Thwomps try to hit you, but you won't be able to hit you. They just go down and up. Remember what the princess said about these ghosts? Yeah. The boos, regular enemy in the Mario games, if you look at them, they will stand still through the height. If you turn your back to them, they will run to you. So I find that though you can't really beat them, so don't try. Try to dodge them. Right here. And yeah, the boo follows up. Try to see how the boo is ready. Here you can do a little trick. If you run to the boo, near the boo, and then you hold the run button and you run! You can dodge all these flops. One of these with the spikes. Careful. Hold on the run button, in my opinion. And. Ooh, run! Oh wow, that was close. Oh, that was too close. Go to his door quickly. And this probably gonna be boss battle with the bomb bombs, I think. Yep, it is. Hello, friend. Let's try jumping quickly to beat him easily. You can now see where he lands. It's pretty easy to beat him like that. There's no shortcut in this level compared to the first fortress level though, so just beat it easily. And you clear. Boom! Now things open up a bit. We can go for him, brothers. Let's go for him first. Okay, pull off the boomerang. Watch out the boomerang can still hit you when they return to you. And we get this one. This is a musical box. Musical blocks are a bit different. So musical blocks is an item that can make these hamburgers be unavailable to be fought. You can basically skip them in case they are in your way and you have trouble fighting them. Now, if you take over up here, go to the item level. We can see what we can get. Let's go for the left one this time. Another mushroom. What would do this pipe though? Now we're here. Oh. You might want what what's the point of this pipe? You just go back here again. The point is, as we explained with the first world, is that if you get a uh, game over, and you uh, then basically the fortress level, level two and level one, they will all be reopened. Because we beat the fortress, the blockade here is gone. So if you get a, a game over, you can basically use the uh, pipe to go straight into this part, which is the second half of the desert world. I am in my something different here. So you see level 3, you see level 4 and 5, and then you see, was it like a quicksand in the middle? And a pyramid in between the castle. What does that mean? It means that these levels are actually levels themselves. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and the actual level has 6. And if you notice on the top right there, that one looks a bit... Hmm, something wrong with it. Maybe we should find out more about it? Maybe. Next episode, we're gonna keep on going. We're gonna go for the third level, and we're gonna explore the quicksand, and maybe go for the fourth level as well. And then we will see what the Hamblotters, the fifth level, and the pyramid has to show us. And then after that, we will try to finish off the second world. So stay tuned. Like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on social media. That's good for now. See you guys next time as my journey in Super Mario Bros. 3 continues.